everybody welcome to my channel once again today I'm going to um, show you a recipe that is very healthy um, I haven't been eating um, very well for the past few days so I, I said to myself you know what I need to kind of like you know eat some good food today good but you know good food <laughs> so what I'm gonna make today is a potato sweet potato salad now as you see here I have some four sweet potatoes right now they have different types of potatoes as far as I know now this one but to me that they, they can be very confusing especially with this type of the skin this sort of a colored skin um, I just cut off this piece so you could see now the, this is one where when you peel into it you see this the inside is sort of like a orangey color right but it's solid and the other type is like I think what they call um, um, in North America candy yam right um i don't even fall in category of sweet potato but it looks just like this but the inside is yellow but it's a little softer it doesn't cook um when it cooks it's very like it's softer and the other type is like when you cut into it it's whiter it's a whiter potato um inside right so i don't know don't know the different names of them as far as i know they call it they fall in the category of sweet potato but we're looking for the ones that when you cut into it it's this particular color and it's a solid one okay so we'll be using some of that. I have four good sized sweet, sweet potatoes, right? And before I forget, um, in doing my research, sweet potato is very good for people who are, um, who are diabetic. It's very good for them, right? And I have some candy yam. We'll be using about a tablespoon of this. A tablespoon of Dijon mustard. So here we have um, some garlic powder. We'll be using maybe about a teaspoon of this. I have a can of corn. I like this corn. It's a Mexican Mexi corn. It has the kernel corn itself and um, some red sweet peppers in there. So I really like. I like how it tastes. I like the flavor of this particular corn made by Green Giant. So I'm going to use the whole can of this. And we have some. I'll be using about let's see about three tablespoons of olive oil. I have some parsley here. I'll just be using the ends of it, of the parsley. And of course, be adding some salt and maybe some black pepper just to taste. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'll basically peel the potato, cut them up into like little mini size, medium sized squares and put them to boil. Of course, you know, when you put your provision to boil in smaller squares, they cook faster. Okay, so here's my sweet potato all cut up. Um, as you can see what it looks like now, the actual color is very solid yeah so this is three of these sweet potatoes that I cut up here I don't think I'll use a fourth one because this looks quite enough for my husband and I so yeah so this is just um, three sweet potatoes that I cut up and this is what, what it looks like okay so I added some water about four cups of water basically to boil the potato then I put them to boil it, it took about basically 10 to 15 minutes to fully cook I'm just getting it nice and tender. So the next thing I did was I removed them from the pot, put them to cool for a little while, and then I began to add the, the ingredients, the corn, the cilantro, um, enough pepper and black pepper and salt to taste. Then I added the um, garlic powder. Then I mix up everything together. Then I added the um, olive oil the um, Dujon mustard, that Dujon mustard is really, really nice. And this meal is quite filling, surprisingly, it's quite filling. I really, really enjoyed it. I was surprised how filling it was. It can be served like a side, or we basically had it um, like that for, for our lunch a few days ago. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.